brothers and sisters in Islam, who are the saved ones? We are talking about the road to Jannah. And Rasulullah said, Huffatil Jannah bil makarih wa huffatil naru bil shahawat. Jannah has been covered with a boundary called the boundary of the things that the human doesn't really like to do. You get irritated, but you don't want to keep doing it. Such as praying five times a day, waking up for Fajr. Oh man, taking that, you know, that blanket off. I know this brother, this person, he's got big muscles, goes to gym every day. When it comes time for Fajr, can't lift the blanket. It's too heavy. Because you know why? Although the body needs training, there's something else that needs training too. What is it? The soul. We forgot about the soul. Today the soul has... No people don't even believe in the soul anymore. The soul has its nourishment and that's why people are miserable. You need to also work on your soul. And Ibn Al-Qayyim said, alayhi, He said, Wallahi, the soul has the same needs as the body has, but in a different way. Just like the body needs food and nourishment, the soul needs it as well. And, it, and the soul, the, the nourishment of the, of the soul is ibadah, worship. The soul is just like a mirror. When you look at a mirror and you want to portray yourself, the mirror can sometimes get murky and you clean it. And the soul can become murky. And the way you clean it is with dhikr, dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You polish it all the time. The soul needs its nourishment, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. You know when I realized that my iman has gone down and my soul has become sick? When I realized that when I see that brother who loves Allah, and I know that when he sees me, he's going to tell me, brother, it's time for salat right now. And when my iman is down and I feel like I want to delay my salat a bit and I see this person, I want to run away from him. That's happened to all of us, doesn't it? More in, when your iman is down, you say, I don't really want to meet this person right now because you know, there's something worldly that I want to do right now. And I know that this person is going to drag me away from my worldly thing, money or whatever it is, to take me to salat on its time. That's when the soul at that point is a little bit sick. And then you like to hang around with the others. Right? We see these youngsters doing that all the time, even older people. So this is a sign. And Jahannam is covered with the boundaries of negative temptations. What your nafs loves, such as selfishness, greed, jealousy, uh, lusts, temptations like that. So if you want to enter hellfire, just follow your nafs. You want to enter Jannah and break that wall? Then follow the things which your nafs normally tells you, I don't want. When you nourish your soul enough, Wallahi, they become the most sweetest things for you to do. The most sweetest. And every time your nafs tells you, I don't want to do it, you love that feeling. Have you ever heard of people who love the feeling of irritation of their nafs? They look at the nafs and the nafs says to you, don't get up for Fajr now, I'm going to make wudu and I've got to go to the toilet and do this and do that istinja and I've got to make, go make wudu. By the way, it only takes about five minutes to do all that, right? I timed myself the other day. I was teaching my son, don't worry, wudu is good. Let's time ourselves. Wallahi, it took two minutes and a half. Said to him, let's say La ilaha illallah 100 times. He goes, oof, 100 times, far out, man. Let's time it. Brought the students one day in the masjid at the, at the school. I said, let's do La ilaha illallah 100 times. You know how long it took? Try it yourself. One minute and 20 something seconds. 100 times La ilaha illallah in one minute and 20 something seconds. They go on their iPad, Allahu Akbar, how long? Now you might be thinking those damn children, huh? Sorry, I said damn, those despicable children. What about the older people? How long do you stay on Facebook? How long do you have the phone in, in, in your eyes up, till, up until 2 a.m.? And then you complain you can't sleep. Of course you can't sleep because the brain now thinks you have to stay awake. What kind of a world do we live in? We don't live anymore, nor are we dead. Not living and not dead. Not happy, not... Allahu Akbar, what are we? We're nothing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then said, however, the mu'mineen are safe. And so on that day, we will save the mu'mineen. Allah says, will we on that day make the Muslims the same as the criminals? What is wrong with you? How do you judge? Those who are true believers, can they be the same as those who are corrupted? No, no, no. They will never be equal. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, don't be disheartened. Although the world has come in that way, Rasulullah did say, there will always be a group of my ummah who will be standing firm on what I have come with. No person, no blamer, no bully, no one can make them change their course. They are firm, alhamdulillah, till the last hour.
And if it wasn't for them, Allah would have destroyed the world a long time ago, brothers and sisters in Islam. If it wasn't for them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not keep us going. May Allah make us among them.